Be very, very fine copy of 5 and 5. And very, very fine copy of Mr. Johnson TSL. Roger that. Appreciate it. I'm on a portable antenna, a V12 antenna at 20 feet. Uh, the antenna is only 10 feet from one side to the other, uh, and it's above a camper. I'm operating portable. Sorry, are you still in the Winnebago uh, or Doxy Park? Is that right? Uh, yeah, I'm actually in a, in a travel trailer uh, sitting in front of my front yard trying it out. Okay, so, so you are still in the, in the trailer, is that right? Uh, Rod to that. Yeah, I'm at the house, but it is a portable operation in a travel trailer. Is that a Winnebago or Doxy? Uh, it's not a Winnebago, but it's um, it's just a travel trailer. It's a cruise line. Okay, uh, Roger, Roger. Okay, now let me know what antenna you you're running. Uh, it is called a Chameleon V12. It is a portable antenna, and it is only 10 feet from one side to the other. It's a dipole antenna. It's called a Chameleon. Okay, the Chameleon. Okay. And you have a fantastic signal in uh, North Mississippi. I appreciate you coming back to me. Well, you too, Jack. And uh, no problem listening to you. And uh, you have a very fine copy over here from the trailer outside your home in Holy Springs in Mississippi. Keep up, uh, keep up the good work that's in. And the experimenting is a good thing uh, to do uh, as a uh, lady amateur. And uh, we are experimenters all the time. KB0, Zulu India X ray, 7 L. Rod to that. Appreciate it, and have fun on the net today. This is KB0 ZTX 73. All right, yeah, what the other station? Okay, so I just checked into the maritime net, or actually the uh, intercon net, and this is the setup. This is the Chameleon V12 on top of uh, what can be a 30-foot mast. I got it up about 20, 25 feet. It is mounted with some guys off the bumper of my travel trailer. And then I have the uh, the radio, which is a TS-480 Kenwood mounted inside the camper. Uh, got a little extra coax beyond what I need, about 75 feet total. But I've got a port just to run coaxes into the travel trailer. And I also have a nice beefy ground that I've got run into the frame. Here, so obviously it gets out. Uh, he gave me a 5.5, which isn't too bad, I guess. He hit some noise on his end. That may be a little short, actually, because he's in Ohio. So, uh, anyway, it appears to be doing fairly well.